Hey everybody, welcome to Mornings with Chanel. Today I have Angie Rosinski with me. We're gonna interview her about what inspires her and what gets her up in the morning. Angie's a hairstylist at Divinity Salon in Encinitas off the 101. She's pretty incredible, so I hope that you guys uh, give her a chance to check her out. I know Angie because we've been working at Drybar together for a million years. I wanted to highlight some of the people that are inspirational to our community, people that kind of you know motivate me to be as strong as I am. So let's talk about your work really quick, Angie. Okay. Um, I know you've been working at Divinity for a while. Um, what kind of things do you really enjoy doing there? Like, what's your specialty? I think that my favorite thing to do is probably like a whole look from start to finish. <laughs> I like to do everything. So I like to go from somebody bringing in a picture or somebody wanting to do something completely different that's outside of like their norm sure. and being able to make that kind of come true. Okay. Like I think that a lot of people nowadays don't really understand how like unrealistic things actually are. When you see a picture of uh, Kim Kardashian, platinum blonde, and you know a couple days later she had been brunette, it's not like a one-shot process, right? A lot of that time it's a wig. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think half of the stuff that comes in is, I think people are very unrealistic with where their hair is at and where they want it sure, to be. So I think course. it's our job to kind of either find a happy medium or at least be honest where that can go. Being up front right away during your consultation about what they <clears throat> can expect is probably the best method for success. I would say if you asked every one of my clients, I am honest. I'm always honest sure. about what I am able to do and what I like can't do and I'm very honest about a picture about explaining what it completely is sure. so that you know exactly what you're getting okay try to be realistic as much as you can and you know you go from there awesome yeah. very cool um, what kind of things do you like to do a dry bar like when you're at dry bar do you do braids and updos or are you just a, like an old-school I kind of girl? love updos and stuff like that braids are still like not my forte we're gonna work on it we're gonna work on it that'll be my 2018 <laughs> hashtag goal <laughs> but I love like doing the old school where we're good at like shampoo sets where we actually are brush setting brush it. like actually pin setting and then I think that's my favorite blow up is just an actual pinned sexy bouncy blow up. Do you prefer a brush set or a pin set? I actually prefer a pin set okay. personally. Can you explain to the audience like what that is what the differences are? Um, Normally, it's if you have 500 million brushes to put in somebody's hair. Sure. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind doing a brush set. It doesn't bother me, but it's so much easier to just grab a pin and just section that up so it's clean and it's kind of out of your way. Do you find that you get a little bit more curl <clears throat> with your results if you're, you're able to control the diameter of your pins versus, okay, this is the size of my brush, so you're not going to get as much curl? I feel like, um, I kind of feel like this is a tricky question because for beginner beginners, you have to take such small sections sure. and make sure that you're going. But I feel like us veterans that have been doing it for so long, I don't have to take such small sections yeah, to get the desired look that I want. Cool. But I am very methodical about where I'm pinning. You and are. I'm and so how long have you been doing hair? I just thought of it. I always say the same number and then I'm like, wait, wait the number goes up. <laughs> I've actually been doing hair 17 years. Holy yeah. cow. <laughs> Blow everybody out of the water. And like, that. it's been a long time. Super impressive. I yeah. feel like we were in high school sitting there like, I want to dye my hair purple. Yeah. Who's in? Let's go. Uh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Where are you from, Angie? I am originally from Northwest Indiana, close to Chicago. Okay. That's where I spent the majority of my career, kind of in no man's land. So right. <laughs> is it different doing hair it's in Chicago so and different the doing hair out there? They're still rocking chunky highlights. Stop. The broho light on top, oh dark on bottom. Gosh. Sorry, Midwest. Why? <laughs> Why is there a lack of uh, evolution? You have to think. I I feel well. A lot of them have the same styles they've always had, okay. and really do not want to change. Okay. Okay. And that would be some of even my own family members. Right. Still have <laughs> Are you guys watching? Hair. Change yes. your hair. Yeah. Change your hair. <laughs> <laughs> some of them even have the same hairstyles and are not willing to give up on them. But okay. um, do you think that hopefully <clears throat> you being such a pioneer in our industry, you can inspire people like with the work you're doing? I think that when it comes to change, sure. Uh, no. I honestly <laughs> think it doesn't that, matter how good no. she is. <laughs> I honestly think that either you're somebody who wants change and wants to keep with the times cares about what trends are coming out and like really 
like that's your focus style and fashion and then there's just people that are going to want to stick with what's comfortable to them and okay. you just have to be okay to style clients like that too like well, you've got to be able to do mullets to <laughs> anything in between i mean do you find yourself doing perms I would do a perm. I mean, I'm not against it. Just so you guys them. know, Angie mm -hmm. does everything. She'll do yeah. extensions, yeah. she'll do your keratins, she's got everything, everything. on lock. Yeah. I'm like, I would do one. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm not against a perm. But I heard that they were trying to bring back they, the body I, wave. Like, people are. want that curl. They Julia don't want to do a yeah. body wave. She got one. Uh, let's bring it back to uh, our blog here about mornings. Uh, are you a morning person? <laughs> Aaron would say, <laughs> yes. <laughs> My boyfriend would say yes, I am. <laughs> Annoyingly so. <laughs> what time do you think you wake up generally in the morning? Probably like seven. Oh like, yeah, she's a morning girl. Yeah, she's with early. Us. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I like getting up early. Awesome, we but love I that. Like going to bed early. So. <laughs> well, but so that's something that's really important. Never a lot did. of times, if you are finding yourself going out the night before, waking up early is not going to happen. Oh, Definitely right? don't go out and get crazy. And right. Party, so there's a, there's no yeah. way it's going to work out, right? Are you yeah. a coffee or a tea drinker? Which one are you in the morning? Do you need coffee to wake up? I, so it depends. I think it depends what I'm feeling. Cause I think tea is something that like, if I'm like sick and I don't feel good. Comfort. Comforting. Yeah. Where coffee is just almost like we look at it as a necessity. Right. So I think tea is one that you're like, I want it. Or, yeah. You know, oh, I know. totally agree. Yeah. Um, and so what else are your vices? Um, I wish that I liked candy less. <laughs> Wish that I did. <laughs> Which um, candies? What's killing you? I'm not a chocolate person. Like, Lollipops? Yes. And Peds and Stop! old school jawbreakers. Like old all sorts candy. of weird stuff. Yeah. Oh, amazing. Um, so what else, What other goals do you have for 2018? Eat less candy. You, you gotta like, start learning how to get braid. Out of braid. <laughs> no candy. <laughs> um, I definitely want to take more hair classes. That is definitely a goal. We love that. Some LA classes. Yes. So that is what I'm really, really excited about this year and just trying to build my business and honestly just keep going. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. Keep learning new things in the industry because it's so much fun. Totally inspirational to all of us that are trying to do better in our careers, trying to stay up with the game, always keeping up with your education is so important. Yeah. Uh, who inspires you? Like who makes you want to wake up at seven o'clock in the morning? I honestly think like the reason that what inspires me are getting up is like honestly my coworkers and yeah. the people that I work with because if I didn't like who I worked with every day and if I didn't feel like when I went to work it was so much fun, it would be so horrible I think and I wouldn't be as inspired and then watching all my coworkers, I'm, I work with a lot of really talented people yeah. so they give me more inspiration and obviously trends and watching Hollywood and stuff like that. For eight years worked in a salon that I was not happy at and was not treated well and I never felt appreciated and I felt like it wasn't something that I, I knew that I wanted more out of life. And I think that is what's driven me as knowing that gave me the push to move across the country and really switch my career and making sure that I'm at a place like it's never worth working at some place where you don't feel like you like the people or you like who you're working for. And I think it's important to really find a place that really you feel at home. And so motivational tip for our viewers that want to wake up every morning feeling like they're going to start their best day possible. What is it? What is it that you're going to tell people that makes you feel great that, that you can inspire others with? I think liking what you do is the yeah. first start. So if you don't like what you do, I think it's time for you to like think about it, think what you really want to do in life, and then try to switch it because it's really not worth getting up and hating where you're going every so day. So true. It's just not. So... I think if you start there, you'll be good. So fantastic. Thank you so much for being on with us this morning. Really a huge inspiration to all of us. Everybody check out Angie at Divinity Salon in Encinitas, <laughs> California. Thank you guys. Thanks.